Naughty things to whoa. Stipe Miocic is gnome pilled. He quite literally believes in the existence of gnomes, elves, little people, whatever you want to call it. The man is not out of his mind. He just remembers things that you have forgotten. If you don't believe me, you need to pay attention to this video. Stipe always frames his head between two blue gnomes during interviews. As we can see from this clip from the Believe You Me podcast, Michael Bisbean questions Stipe about his gnome statues. Looks like you spend a bit, fair bit of time collecting ornamental dwarfs or gnomes in the background. Love them, dude. I have two outside. Actually, true story, there's one at a, at a garden place down the road. They have one that's like seven to eight feet tall. I want it. It's like 1500 bucks. And my wife's like, you are never getting it. So I might, after this fight, I'm getting it. What, what is the thing with gnomes? I don't know. I just always love them. Stipe claims he has two gnomes out front of his house as well. And after beating John Jones, he intends to buy an eight foot tall gnome statue. You may think he just likes them for aesthetic reasons, but you would be an idiot. I have a clip here of Stipe Miocic legitimately saying his children are part elf. Everyone, like, you know, my son, he's just straight sour. So I just gotta, gotta check his little attitude real quick. But he's a, he's a good boy. There's nothing bad about him. He just definitely, uh, they both got the elf in them. That's what I want. They both got the elf in them. He is admitting that he himself has some sort of magical blood running through his veins and he is happy his children exhibit the same traits as him. Here's a clip of Stipe Miocic asking to be rewarded with poplar wood. I'm on the same page now. Give me poplar, I guess, right? Come on! Give me poplar, I guess. Poplar is a type of tree that gnomes are known to inhabit in and value for its magical properties. This is far too many coincidences to simply be a man who likes garden gnome statues. Stipe Miocic believes in gnomes and gnome Boria. He is probably also a hollow earther. However, it is extremely hard to decipher what he says usually. Keep doing what I'm doing. If it ain't fixed, don't broke it. Don't, whatever, I can't, I'm tired right now, sorry. Okay. His belief in cryptids does not stop with gnomes. He also intends to buy a massive Sasquatch statue to honor Bigfoot. Everyone knows that the Hudson's Bay Company genocided the Sasquatch in the 1700s and 1800s on their quest for fur. This is common knowledge in Canada, and it is quite honorable that an Ohioan like Stipe would memorialize our tragedy. Not only does Stipe believe in gnomes, he also acts like a gnome. Gnomes are known to be mischievous. Take a look at this clip. Damn. Holy so, shit. Bro. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Push me, man. Do you man. think I could get a picture of it? You know, I'm not, I'm not in a picture. I'm just showing you. Of course you can. Oh, <laughs> I'm just showing you. Of course you can. Oh, <laughs> Stipe is literally playing mischievous tricks on young fans. That is textbook gnome behavior. Why would one of the top UFC heavyweights in the world believe in gnomes? You're asking yourself? Because they live in his home. Naughty things to whoa! I already showed the clip at the start of the video. But this is taken from Stipe Miocic responding to fan mail when he is surprised by a little person. You can see by the look on his face that, while shocked, this is not the first time he's seen a gnome in his kitchen. To top it all off, Stipe Miocic believes in astrology. Do you go in for all that, what is it, astrology or the star signs and stuff like that? Is it astrology? What do they call it? Yeah, astrology, yeah. Astro yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you believe in that stuff? Yeah, a little bit, I do. But no, yeah, my wife, she's definitely a Leo. My, 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 my daughter's a Leo, so definitely there's a lot of button heads. Um, but it's good. It's all good. You know what what are you, Stipe? What are I'm you? A, I'm a Leo. These are the traits for a Leo star sign. Leos are the natural leaders of the Zodiac. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> As magnificent and strike. Oh, God. You can see when he is pressed by Bisbean, the look on his face. He doesn't find it funny, Bisbean's mocking nature. But... We all know Bisbean has no capacity to understand the esoteric or the metaphysical. His small, mannerless British brain is incapable of doing so. For those of you who are unfamiliar with gnomes, they tend to be quiet, private individuals, but they respond well to gifts like cognac, loose leaf tobacco, and fruit or vegetables. They are also known to fiercely guard against any unnecessary damage to the earth and wildlife 
just like firefighters. Had a good day today? Oh yeah, good training. So far. Gnomes aren't evil, but they are prone to mischief. We have seen Stipe being mischievous earlier in the video. <laughs> Gnomes are known to live in rocky woodlands and hilly meadows, which is the exact geography of Ohio. In fact, American miners in Ohio used to have a myth of the Tommyknockers, a small gnome-like creature who would sometimes knock down support beams in the mine, causing collapses. These little people would be placated with gifts of cake. Gnomes are known to keep pantries in their homes where they store vegetables, berries, grains, and other foods for the winter. Most humans cannot see gnomes, except those who are gifted with the ability to- Naughty things to- Whoa! I'll let you all draw your own conclusions about Stipe Miocic's belief in gnomes, but to me, it seems pretty apparent he undoubtedly believes in the little creatures and may himself have magical blood. Demon Bobby. Demon Mommy.